how can we get a better understanding of what each baby can and cannot hear? This video explains how the HL audiogram can help you to understand the impact of hearing loss. With the ABR, we determined how loud sounds have to be for a baby to hear them. The numbers are in units called decibels. The higher the number, the louder the sound. And we know that most children hear sounds when they are quieter than 15 decibels. The point at which a child just begins to hear the sounds that are quiet for them is called the threshold of hearing. The numbers from the ABR test tell us there is a hearing loss because the thresholds are above 25 decibels. But what do those numbers really mean? By putting those numbers on a graph called the audiogram, we can get a better idea about how a child hears and also about what we can do to help. The HL audiogram is a chart that helps us to put the results of a hearing test into perspective. It will help to break this chart down into its parts. As we put the chart back together, you will see how useful it can be. At the left of the chart, we put low sounds like a tuba going towards high sounds like a flute on the right. Whether a sound is high pitched or low is described by its frequency. 125 hertz, which means 125 cycles per second, is a low frequency tone. 8000 hertz, or 8000 cycles per second, is a high frequency tone. To give you an idea about what these frequencies sound like, let's line up piano keys with the audiogram. Most people can hear much, much higher sounds than this chart shows, and a lot higher than a normal piano can play, all the way up to around 20,000 hertz. Dogs can hear even higher. That's why they can hear a dog whistle that starts at 23,000 hertz, and we can't. Why does the audiogram only go up to 8,000 hertz then, if we can hear higher than that? It's because the audiogram focuses on the most important frequencies there are for human ears. This range of frequencies contains the sounds of speech. Okay, that's frequency. How do we chart the loudness of a sound? Remember that loudness is measured in decibels, short form dB. At the top of the audiogram at zero decibels, sounds are so quiet you might with typical hearing just be able to hear them half the time. As you move down the audiogram, sounds are louder and louder until they are too loud for the human ear, up around 120 decibels. So, that's frequency and loudness. How does this chart represent how people hear? Let's use the ocean to represent what most people can hear and then compare that to the results we have for a child who has hearing loss. Where most people can just begin to hear the softest sounds is here at the waterline. This waterline where hearing begins is called, as you know, the threshold of hearing. Anything above the water is too soft to hear. Some people hear better, and some people hear worse than this. Up to 15 decibels is considered typical hearing. Anything worse than that could have an impact on hearing and learning speech and language. So a sound at the threshold of hearing might be the sound of water lapping. Any quieter, and you wouldn't hear it. As we go deeper, we mark louder sounds like a dog barking, or a lawnmower. We hear louder and louder sounds until sounds are too loud and they start to become uncomfortable. So let's say that limit is the bottom of the ocean. How loud are the sounds of speech? The sounds that we need to hear for language each have different qualities in terms of frequency and loudness. The low sounds of speech are usually loud enough to happen here. And the high sounds of speech are usually loud enough to happen here. If we draw a shape around all of the sounds of speech, we have what looks like a speech submarine. The sounds of speech are just at the right level for most people to hear easily, not up at threshold, where it's difficult to hear because they are too soft, and not too loud, where they are uncomfortable to hear. They're just right. 
The audiologist will mark the results of testing on an audiogram. They use a circle for the right ear and an X when showing the results for the left. But let's keep things simple and just look at the right. When they test a child's hearing, they start with a soft tone and turn up the volume until they get a response from the child to that sound. The audiologist moves across the frequencies until the waterline for the child's hearing, the level where that child first could hear quiet sounds, is known. As your child gets older, the audiologist can learn more about the thresholds of hearing for each frequency on the audiogram. Remember that a child can't hear anything above his waterline. Remember too that the ocean floor is the same. Going past this level could be uncomfortable. The speech submarine stays the same. The sounds that are above the water are not heard. Notice these sounds that are not heard. The sound of S is very important to learning many important grammatical rules in English. Book versus books, for example. Both the S sound and the T sound are among the top four most commonly used consonants in English. Missing these sounds alone could cause a delay in speech and language development. The other sounds that are heard but near the surface might not be heard loud enough. This is the chart that the audiologist uses to compare a child's hearing to what most people can hear. Where the waterline falls across the first three thresholds shown here helps to define the degree of hearing loss. Many audiologists consider between 16 to 25 decibels to be a slight hearing loss, which can have impact on hearing speech and language. When levels are above 25 decibels, the hearing loss might be mild, moderate, moderately severe, severe, or profound. In this example, the hearing loss is mild. Hearing aids are set in a very specific way for each particular child. They are designed to amplify speech sounds to just the right loudness level for a particular child to hear them. Not too soft and not too loud, just right. The HL audiogram shows how loud sounds have to be for your baby to hear them. Hearing aids amplify speech. They are set by the audiologist to make speech louder in a very specific way in a way that helps your baby to hear language well and then learn language well all day every day. Hearing lots of language through the help of hearing aids worn all day long is the proven way to strong speech and language development.